Welcome back to the Crochet Cradles with my friends at Yarnspirations.com. I want to show you my stitch here. This is called the Suspension Stitch. I have recalibrated this stitch. I came up with the concept. I did eventually find a very similar version in a book, but my execution is still different. What I wanted to do is change it the way that I did it in the study of ombre and move everything to the right side of the work, the front side, but I also changed the way that it looks in corners. So let me show you the original sample. Here is the original study of ombre. Now what you'll notice with the suspension stitch is that there's a section right here that literally is a hollow spot. And I thought, well, if I'm ever gonna recalibrate and figure out this, I wanna be able to get the suspension stitch to go right to the corner. Part of my hang up when I design this is that I always crisscross in the same direction. So I will crisscross, so I'll come over, and the second one is always in the back side, and it's the back side that was creating these here on the front of the project. And what I realized is that if I change my approach and crisscross in the opposite direction, where I literally um, just going there and then the second one is in front, I can get this to be on the right side. So I solved that problem, but then I had to figure out how to get the suspension stitch to come right out of the corner. So the major difference back here on the sample is that the very first suspension stitch, it's actually around the front post of this side. So if I'm doing working here, I connected the first one to this side. I've never seen that done before, so that was my solution. So you'll see that it's kind of pulling up a little bit and it keeps it also in line. So you can see, if you look really carefully, there's technically the corner and it's linking there. Do you see that? So I'm going to show you how to get started. We're going to do a square today. You can make it any size. This is Karen Cakes shown in lavender color and you can make these as big or small as you want to. It's a nice thick material. This is what the back looks like which is really quite desirable as well. So you have a beautiful texture. Um, I'm not sure it's a yarn eater so you can let me know in the comments how you feel about that and I used a five and a half millimeter size eye crochet hook but I think you can just look at the ball band and decide what one you want to do. Let me show you how to get started because this is just a repeat of two rounds once you get moving on this thing. So let's get moving on this thing and we want to create a slip knot to begin and I'm using a five and a half millimeter size eye hook and I'm also using Karen cakes today. So I'm going to chain a total of four, one, two, three, and four, and stick the hook in the beginning chain and yarn over and pull through. And you're creating the center ring that you'll be going around. Let's begin round number one. In round number one, we're gonna start with chaining a three, which will count as a double crochet. And I need you to put three more double crochet into the ring. So you will have a total count technically of four. So the first chain plus the three, that gives you four. Chain two to turn, and then put four more double crochet into the, into the circle. Chain two again, and put four more double crochet into the circle. Okay, we have three sides completed. Chain two again and put the last four double crochets into the circle. In this particular pattern, I like to use a half double crochet to join it to the top of the first chain three. So just wrap the hook and that will count and then go into there and do a half double crochet and that'll count as a chain two space. And if you went over top of your straggler, you can cut that out and we can officially be begin the next round. Let's do the next round. Every other round is a single crochet, it's just the execution is gonna be different in the future. So right here in the space, you're gonna chain up one and put one single crochet in the space. And then you're just going to zip across and put one single crochet in each one of the stitches across. I'm not going to give you the row counts on this or the round counts because the fact is, is that if you can just follow it, 
um, it actually is pretty easy. So then once you get to the other corner, put one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Okay, so put one uh, single crochet in each stitch, corners are one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet, and I'll see you at the end of the round in a moment. So I'm coming on the last side and I still have to deal with the beginning space. So I just gotta place in one more single crochet in the, in the beginning space and then do a half double crochet join. So just wrap the hook, go into the top of the first single crochet and just attach it with the half. Let's begin the next round and the next round is gonna get ourselves started with doing these suspension stitches. Now the suspension stitches are not in here yet. So we're gonna start creating that foundation that we'll be working on in the future. To begin, we're gonna chain three. That is a double crochet and then you'll double crochet into the same corner space. You're now going to begin a suspension stitch. So it's going to be the first single crochet the next one in these three that'll work together. So you're going to start and immediately come to the third one away and double crochet, chain one, and you are going to apply then in the last double crochet of this side, a, a front post treble. So wrap the hook twice and just come to the front post of this one right here. So it's a side beforehand, and then you're gonna yarn over, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. So you see you connected it to the last double crochet before the corner and it was two rows below. So that counts as the stitches it's sitting in front of. So now we just have the final three stitches to worry about in this particular round. So it's these three. So you're gonna to come to the third one away. And remember that counts. You can actually count it. You can see it, right? So one, two, three. So you're gonna to come to the third one away, which is the last one before the corner. So double crochet, chain one, and the suspension stitch is going to go around the second last one here. So it's a front post treble around the second one before the end. So why didn't I put it in the end one? Because we're gonna use the end one to connect to once we get to this, this side. So then finish off this corner with two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and I'll show you another side. So we're getting ourselves established on this pattern in this round. So let's start. We're gonna, the first three are the suspension stitches. So you're gonna come to the third one away, double crochet, chain one, the front post treble is going to go around the last double crochet of this side. So it's a front post treble around that one. And then because it's this, uh, this um, round, you're gonna come and you're going to skip to the last one here before the corner, because there's three stitches. You'll double crochet, chain one, and then you're gonna do a front post treble around the second one before the end, right there. And then you'll do your corner. And that's what I need you to do for this entire round. So I'll meet you at the end of the round. We'll um, show you what to do at that point. So I'm coming all the way around and I'm just doing my last suspension stitch. And you can see that the last one of this particular side was already connected to this side here. So it looks cohesive. And then you're gonna finish your corner with then just two double crochet, and then you'll join it with a half double crochet to the top of the first chain three. And then we're going to start then the next two rows and the next two rows are the repeat for the entire journey. So every other round is gonna be exactly the same. Right where you're sitting, this is gonna be a single crochet round. Chain one and apply one single crochet into the corner. See these two here? There's always be the same of one single crochet each. And now we have the suspension stitches. So in the chain one where it crosses over, I want you to put in three single crochets into each one of those every time you see that. 
So once that one's done, just jump to the next suspension and in the chain one space where it crosses another three single crochets. So you're just essentially just getting more of these suspension stitches as you, as you work along. And you will have two double crochets that you need to fill in before the end of the side. So, and then you'll have your corner of one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet, and I'll show you one more side. So starting off, see these double crochets? They're always gonna be single each. And then you have your suspension stitches. So just go into the chain one space where it crosses and put in three single crochet. And then do this one, three single crochet into that space. And then you have your final two before the corner. So one into each. And then your corner of one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Please do this around and I'll be right back in a moment. So coming back around, I want to put one single crochet into the beginning space and join it with a half double crochet to the beginning single crochet. So now we're going to begin the next round, which is going to be the suspension stitch around, but we now have suspension stitches to be our anchor points. And every time we create new stitches of this suspension, there's always going to be an extra two added. So we see two right now, next time there will be four. And then the next time we come to that, it'll be six and etc. Let's start the next round. To begin, you're going to chain three and double crochet into the same corner space. So that hasn't changed. And we're immediately going to start off with the first suspension stitches, the beginning one. So you have the first three stitches, you can see them. So you'll go into the third one away, double crochet, chain one, and it's the beginning. So I want you to come over here and loop around here. This is the front post treble around that. Okay, so now you've just established a new corner point. So now you're going to do your suspension stitches. So you got the next three, everything's in groups of three. So just go into the third one away, double crochet, chain one, and see this one here that's in behind? You wanna do a, uh, a front post treble around that and that will bring it forward. See? So then you got your next group of three, so do your next suspension, a third one away. So it's a double, chain one, and a front post treble around this one here, right here. And bring that forward. And my colors are gonna just change on their own. So I have the last three before the corner. So come to the third one away and watch where I go. Chain one, I'm gonna to come to this stitch right here. It's the second one before the end as a front post treble. And why did we do that one instead of this one? Because this one's gonna be used for this side to anchor to. So come into the corner starting with two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So for this particular stitch, I think just letting the colors run itself out um, is actually quite fun. I found it kind of addicting. So let's show you one more side. So you have three stitches, so you'll go into the third one away, double crochet, chain one, and then you're gonna come in to the front post trouble around this side here. It's the last double crochet of that side. Then you got your next grouping of three that's part of the suspension. Third one away, double crochet, chain one, and see the one in behind right there? You're going to do a front post treble around there. And you keep doing that across. So you got your next group of three, third one away, double, chain one, and front post treble. And finally, the three before the end of the side, double, chain one, and come to the second last double crochet down here.
And then finally for the corner, that's what you already know it to be, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So let's talk about uh, this blanket and the repeat because this is all you needed to know. So this is all you needed to know. So the next round will be repeating the last round of the single crochets that you already know. And then the next round is this again. The difference is, is that next time you'll see six suspension stitches instead of four and etc. I don't think you necessarily have to keep those count. I think you can just let the pl uh, pattern play itself out. You can go as big or as little as you want to, but I would recommend ending on a single crochet row, uh, round. So just make sure your single crochets are the very final round and everything will be in balance for that. So it looks really cool. And on the back side, you will see that there's layers going on, which adds a little bit of extra comfort and softness because it's thickening, thickening up the fabric really. So this is the suspension stitch in the square and we hope that you enjoy and I hope to see you again next time. Want to know more? Hit that subscribe now.